Hey, just wanted to uh, do a video today. It's <clears throat> something that's sort of been on my mind, and I, I keep hearing it, and I'm, I'm reading about it, and I just want to share what I have already sort of come to understand, and I think it's pretty profound when you grasp the totality. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do. I've been hearing the word hormones, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing whore. Moans. Maybe you guys can see this. Hormones. And what I've, I've, I've really come to grasp a little bit, um, within the human body, now I'm going to put a picture here, is seven, seven glands. Seven glands. And these seven glands put off hormones. And hormones... And the whole word, whore moans. Okay, and the whore, I'm thinking spiritually, the whore. Okay, and then I'm hearing moans. And, and are these moans of pleasure or pain? Okay? And, and what I'm coming to understand, that these glands, as they put off hormones, the hormones in your body creates emotions. And, and what I'm talking about here, let's, let's, let's use a woman that's going through the change, okay? The hormones change in her body. And when they change in the body, it changes her emotions. Okay, angry, mad, sad, um, frustrated, all right? So what I'm, what I'm getting at is hormones, pleasure, pain, Seven glands, emotions. Okay, now what I'm kind of looking at is, is these seven glands are the seven churches. Okay, the seven churches are the seven glands. And the reason I'm saying this is because the body is the temple. Okay, and if the body is the temple, in the temple there are seven churches okay and these seven churches are these seven glands okay and this is just, just an example for you I uh, just got off the phone with my mom a few minutes ago and she was telling me at about three or four o'clock in the morning she had received a Skype and she had the volume up very loud on her computer and it was uh, some marketing message on Skype but about three or four this morning whenever it was her <laughs> computer on full volume, went off and was so loud. And what I'm when and this is in in that hormones hormones were released and they caused fear, panic, fight, flight. <laughs> you, you see, because of the hormones that were released. Now this is what I want to tell you. Of this, and I'm proposing this, so I don't want to upset people. I'm just proposing. Okay. If this is true, then what affects hormones? Or, is that, uh, is it W-H-O-R-E? Hormones. Hormones. What affects it? Well, guess what the answer is? Light. Light that enters the eyes goes to the pineal gland, which is one of the seven, sorry, there are seven glands, okay, and then based on what comes in here, stimulates glands or hormones that go to the other six glands. Then those glands respond in the area that they are responsible for. Okay? Now I want to try and uh, put in here the seven glands and kind of what each one of them's for. I'm going to stop right there. Okay, so now that I've shown you that they're the seven pine or the seven endocrines, the seven glands of the body, 
And I've said that light that enters the eyes affects the pineal, which affects the other six glands. You see, sort of like what recipe will they put out? What emotions will it cause? Um, light is divided into colors. Okay? Into colors. And so this is where the rainbow thing comes in. Okay, we have the red, sorry, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, indigo, sorry. So the Roy G. Biv. And then in a funny way, I think in the last video I was showing that a lot of people never get past the third level. Okay, and in the word Royale, which is red orange, yellow, okay, that's the first three colors, or the first three churches, so to speak, most people never get past those first three, alright, but what I'm going is, is light, so if a person is being exposed to a lot of red light, it changes this, which changes this, if a person is getting a lot of orange light, it changes this, and it changes this. You see, totally different emotions are happening because of the light. You know, I mean, you've heard this, you've read this, you know that if you paint a room blue, or if you paint it yellow, or if you paint it pink, or if you paint it green, and certain industries do this, and do that, and do this. Well, the reason is, is because it affects the hormones. How you, what your emotions are, what you feel. And what I want to show you is, so we have light, and light is broken into colors. You got one end of the light spectrum to the other end. And it goes, uh, the real light spectrum goes from, um, what is it, red, infrared, infrared to ultraviolet. Okay, and our eyes see on a spectrum of light and colors. All right, so now what I'm saying is your emotions are affected by light and secondly, sound. You see, back to the story about my mom, the sound is what stimulated the hormones. Fear, panic, stress, run, fight. Y you see, and so then until her eyes could gather more light, those hormones were still in that state. All right, so light and sound affect your hormones, which equals your feelings, your emotions. You, you see, now I'm going to put in a picture of a TV. When you are sitting and watching a TV, you are receiving hormonal stimulations. Through visuals, colors, and sounds, your hormones are being stimulated by the light that's entering into the eyes, the sounds that are entering into the ear. When you listen to a radio, your hormones are being stimulated. Just like the, the idea that music calms the savage beast well what is happening is is the music is stimulating hormones within the animal that are blissful and what i'm trying to say is is whether you understand this or not you are being manipulated your hormones are being controlled now i've shown you that light and sound affects your body, your temple, your churches, and not only that, but what you eat. You see, what we're talking about is a chemical balance in the body, which is spiritual. You understand? I'm talking about how to get from the physical to the spiritual, to that place. Not the place you're already in. And through this, process, okay, of changing the hormones, um, and what I'm, what I'm, what my point is, food, you are what you eat, so these hormones, which are cow, beef, and cattle, is loaded 
with hormones. And when they enter into your body, they affect your hormones. And I would say, I think in a negative way, keeps you in the first three. Okay. Um, chicken is loaded with hormones. People, medications and everything are all triggered or triggers for the hormonal system in the body. Okay, disease comes from hormones that are missing. Like if, if, if there's a liver disease, then the, the gland that controls that liver, the balance of the hormones, is not releasing correctly. Okay, but it could not be releasing correctly because it's so affected by the light and the sounds. And I'm going back to hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And the fourth monkey, which is imagine no evil. Okay, these all are chemical stimulations in the endocrine system. And so back to the idea where I speak a lot about the imagination. If you imagine scary thoughts, you're going to stimulate scary hormones in the body. And these hormones then create the panic, the fear, the fight, the flight. If you have blissful imaginings, thoughts, okay, if you closed your physical eyes and only used the third eye, you can stimulate in a positive way happy thoughts, ice cream, balloons, kids playing. These thoughts are stimulating hormones that are sending signals to other hormones in my body, and then they respond. They see the kids playing, they feel the kids playing, they smell the candy and the sunshine and the fresh air, and they hear the waterfall. So, hormones are affected, and the hormone is the emotion Okay, so now I'm going to read a scripture for you. Um, in King James Version, the word whore shows up 14 times. But what is jumping out at me is the 14th one, which is Revelations 19.2. For true and righteousness... Sorry, some work I'm doing on other stuff. Uh, I'll get back to this one. For true and righteous are his judgments... For he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornications, and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Well, now, I had showed you this line right here and said that <clears throat> these are like the first three churches. One, two, three, red, orange, yellow red, orange, yellow, Roy, okay? So what happens is those that do not make it above this line is the whore, okay? Because everything that is below here is basically the whole idea of the, the physical world. You see, this is uh, of the pleasure, so to, so to speak. So the whore moans that are here are, are pleasures pleasures of the world, which is the fornication, you see, it's just, it's, it's at a lower level. They just can't, these cannot come into balance from here up. You see, they stay at a lower, a lower hormonal state. They, they don't actually reach to here or, or to here. You see, this would be considered not a whore. This is back to the veil is rent. I've done a video on that one. This is, the veil is whole, it's not a whore, okay? So, I mean, I hope you get something out of this. Um, the whore, hormones, okay? Uh, I'm going to stop right there.